Have you noticed that your RV runs out of hot water faster and faster lately? Well, it may be because you have a buildup of sediment in your water heater. An important maintenance step often forgotten by RVers is to drain your water heater every six months. This is to prevent that sediment buildup, which can affect the performance and actually the longevity of your water heater. If your heater has an anode rod, this is also a perfect time to inspect and possibly replace it, and we have a great video showing that step-by-step -step process. One of which is draining the heater, so let's get into it. The first step is to turn off the water heater and open the hot water faucets in your RV. You'll want to let them run until the water turns cold, allowing two to three minutes or so for the tank to cool if it has recently been heated. Step two is to turn off the water pump or disconnect the RV from city water. Next, you'll want to open the pressure relief valve until water is no longer draining. Again, be mindful of giving the heater time to cool to avoid any potential burns. After that, you'll want to remove the anode rod or drain plug in the water heater using a 1 and 1 16 inch socket and let the water drain until the heater is empty. Step 5 is to use a water heater tank rinser and dislodge and remove any remaining sediment from the heater. And step 6 is to close the pressure relief valve and replace your anode rod or plug. It is recommended to use Teflon tape to wrap the threads before replacing your drain plug or anode rod. If you also noticed an unpleasant odor in your water lately, it may be time to change your anode rod. You can find out how to do that in this next amazing video. And that's all there is to it. And as always, thanks for being part of the C-Dub Sub Club and ensuring you're the first to see brand new videos as soon as they publish.